Welcome back to Learn SKN, and today we have an Agricultural Science Single Awards CSEC paper for you, paper one from May June 2017. So that's Agricultural Science Single Award paper one from May June 2017. All right, so let's just not waste any time and just jump right in. Number one, marketing can best be described as B promoting and selling goods and services. So B promoting goods, promoting and selling goods and services. Number two, gross domestic product GDP is the value of C goods and services produced in a country. So number items three to five refers to the following current issues that affect agriculture worldwide basis. And so the options we have here A soil erosion, B bioterrorism, C global warming, D problems with food security. And so let's see what they say. Number three, improper herbicide use. And so the best answer for, for that would be B, bioterrorism. You can use herbicides to attack people. You know, people some, some people actually use them to commit suicide and stuff like that. So they are poison. And so they can be used to carry out bioterrorism attacks. 40, number four, the burning of bushes and emissions of gases from industrial operations. That's C, which is global warming. And then we have five, the incidence of pests and diseases and poor harvest practices, and that can affect, that can cause problems with food security, food dying, and you're not getting up to harvest or anything like that. So, food security. Number six, which of the following is most likely a reason for the proliferation of perennial lasting in the Caribbean? And the best answer here, I mean, most of them are correct, but they said the most likely reason. And so the best answer here is C, it is difficult to catch the person committing the act. Sometimes they don't know who, you, you, some people, don't, your farm is high in the mountain, you don't have any fence, you don't have any cameras, so it's hard to know who is stealing your products. Number seven, the correct sequence of, of steps to be followed in growing crops is... And again, this one can be a little contentious, but hear me out. Number eight, so I have A, selection of planting material first, land preparation second, planting is third, after care is fourth, and harvesting. Some people might have land preparation first, but a lot, in my experience, I've realized that a lot of people plan ahead and they select what they're planting first before they actually prepare the land. Because sometimes what you select can say how you should prepare the land. Some people sow seeds in trees way before they even plow the land because they give them time to germinate and stuff like that. If you plow the land before and rain fall, weeds pop back up, by the time you ready to sow, it's the land need um, tilling again. So that's why I selected A. Number eight, it refers, it refers to this diagram right here. Based on the information in the table, the equilibrium price of tomato is an equilibrium price is where supply and demand are equal. And so right now we see supply and demand right here, 700, 700. And so therefore the equilibrium price would be $2. So that's C, $2. Number nine, which of the following is not a source of farm credit for a farmer? And the best answer here is C, trade organization. Which of the following is not a source of farm credit for a farmer? And so they, yeah, of course, you go, you go to the credit union, you can get some monies. Commercial bank, you can get some monies. Savings and thrift societies, you can get some monies. But trade organization, that's not, they don't really give you any money. Number 10, which of the following is not a fixed cost? And of course, the answer is A, uh, fuel, because all these costs are the same, whether you produce or not. But fuel costs can be variable, can change, based on how much you out, your production output, whether you plow an acre or five it depends number 11 which of the following is a major problem associated with caribbean farming as it relates to land and of course the best answer is d farmers are usually hesitant to develop rented land land tenure is an issue so farmers are hesitant to develop land that are not their own and so you do not reach full maximum pr um, productive capacity all right number 12 refers to this diagram right here the supply and demand graph during land people demand more fish any, than any other meat, this is represented by a shift from uh, D to D1. They demand more. They demand more fish. So from D to D1. All right. So that that's B. That represents an increase in the demand. Number thirteen. Which of the following factors does a lender consider when processing a loan application for farmers? And of course, you have character of the farmer. Not really. Uh, two management ability. Of course. And three, repayment capacity. So you have C, 
which is two and three because of course you want to know if the farmer has a pass of you know running business at a loss of uh, uh, profit and of course you want to know whether you, you can actually repay the loan but the character of the farmer doesn't really come into play once you show money talk so once money and everything show they give you whether you rude or not number 14 in income in economic terms a shortage exists when of course c demand is greater than supply you get a shortage when there's more people want more but you supply less so you have a shortage on the market which of the following record is designed to give information of the yield of yams and of course is a production your production records number 16 some farming programs are often ineffective because the subsidy granted is and so you have options here not made available at the right time that's true Two, not enough to cover the in intended purpose. That's also true. And it's three, to be repaid immediately. So that's false because you don't repay any in um, subsidy. So the best answer is one and two. So that's B. Subsidies are not loans. So you don't have to repay them. Number 17, a farmer is intent to expand his poultry farm. Which of the following budget will he prepare? And so the best answer here is A, a partial budget because he's just expanding. He's not totally redoing his farm. He's just expanding. So you have to budget the cost of the expansion. So it's partial. 18 and 19 refers to the following economic terms. Match them. So total income. What is total income? Total income can also call the farm, the gross farm income. Total income. Total income minus expenses, so your income minus your expenses, and the result would be your net profit. So that's A. So that's A right there. Number 20, if the farmer needs to determine the appropriate treatment for pests, which affect his crop, he should consult. And the best answer is B, an entomologist, because they deal with pests. Uh, not pests, but they deal with insects and stuff like that. An entomologist is someone who deals with insects. So the best answer would be right here, B. Okay, uh, number 21, a soil, a soil sample was collected from a school farm and found very high H plus irons. This indicates that the soil is most likely, and the best answer is D, it's an acidic soil. All right, it's an acidic soil. 22, a mixed bag of fertilizer labeled 7, 14, 21. What is the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus in this fertilizer? And again, N, P and K, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. So the first letter number represents nitrogen, second phosphorus, and the last potassium. So therefore, 7 to 14 is the same as 1 to 2. So A, 1 to 2 ratio. Number 23, which of the following can be done to speed up the breaking down of organic matter in, uh, in a compost heap? B, add water to, to compost when it is dry. You don't want any dry compost heap. You want moisture because moisture stimulates organisms to act bacterial activity 24 we follow the following diagram of the soil profile a b c d horizon which horizon determines the chemical composition of the soil and the best answer is d the parent material breaks down to become these other ones and they would more than likely affect the composition of the rest soil types which of the following does not cause soil erosion does not cause soil erosion b sorry d erection of windbreak in windbreaks are things like tall trees that you plant to reduce the effect of wind on your crops to slow it down and prevent soil erosion and stuff like that so it doesn't cause erosion it can actually prevent it 26 refers to the following diagram of a piece of equipment and of course the best answer here is this equipment is used to measure rainfall all right the rainfall it collects here and the the funnel and the you have to it measures here all right, you can measure how much rate you would measure how much rainfall in inches you have right there. Number 27, which of the following is not does will not take place if the air temperature rises above 37 degrees Celsius. And so the best answer here is D, increased risk of fungal disease in plants because fungus normally strive on moist, warm, uh, moist, cool temperatures, lower temperatures. Higher the temperature, the least favorabilities for fungal. All right, number 28, which of the following practice is most important to observe during operation of a knapsack sprayer? Now, this one is a little tricky one. And so, you know, some of them are obvious things that you don't do. So let's go. A, I chose A, spray when there is no wind movement because if you spray during wind time, then it would cause what you call a down drift or the wind would actually, the wind would actually drift the fertile, the chemicals elsewhere. It might drift it on good plants. It might drift it in the water supply might kill bees and stuff like that so at the end of the day this is the most important thing to observe 
do not spray when the wind is high. These ones be avoid eating, drinking, and smoking. Okay, you know, that's not like written in stone. C avoid spraying cultivated crops. You can because some crops, um, some herbicides are selective. They kill some crops and leave some others. And D, we have some protective clothing. Of course, you have to wear protective clothing. But the most important thing is to avoid the drift. 29. The type of germination where the cotyledons appear above the ground is known as epigeal germination. All right? D, epigeal germination. 30. Which of the following conditions increase transpiration rates? And of course, the best answer is D, hot, dry, windy. Hot, dry, windy would increase transpiration rates. 31, which of the following strategies may be used by a plant breeder to improve crop quality? And of course, the best answer here is selection and hybridization. Selection and hybridization. Number 32, sorry, hybridiz hybridization means you combine different genes and different plants to become one. You mix their qualities. And selection, of course, means you pick the best, all right, the best to try to improve your your crops 32 seeds are formed from b fertilized ovules they become seeds fertilized ovules 33 when a cross is made between parents having a single difference in trait this is referred to as and the best answer here is c mono hybrid okay that's the stress single difference mono means one single so mono hybrid and homozygous simply means that all traits are the same, all alleles are the same. So you cannot be homo homozygous because they say there's a difference, but it's mono hybrid. 34. Farmer Derek has a farm of 20 hectares of land. He cultivates vegetables and irrigates his crops with water from a pond in which he raised tilapia and ducks. Which of the following best describes this practice? And so the best answer here is A. Mixed farming. 35, which of the following pest control methods are combined in the integrated pest management? That's IPM approach. And so the best answer here is B, cultural, biological, mechanical, and chemical. All those are different types of pest controls out there. You combine them, you get IPM. 36, the use of living organisms to control weeds is a practice known as C, biological control. Use a living organism, biological control. 37, in agriculture sector, quarantine usually results in D, the prevention of control of the prevention and control of the spread of disease causing organisms from one place to the next. 38, which of the following is, is encouraged by the use of proper post-harvest handling of cut flowers? And so the best answer here is C, maintenance of quality. Normally post harvest can only maintain the quality that you actually had. It can improve it, it can change it, it maintains it. And most of these others are factors that affect the quality, such as delay of senescence, that means delay of killing the plant, physiological disorder, and prevention of weight loss, or this is like respiration, respiration occurs still. And all this goes towards maintenance of the quality, so that's C. 39. Spoilage of stored fruits is not caused by of course, proper ventilation. All right? B, proper ventilation. It's a good thing. Number 40, a byproduct of fermentation of sucrose is B, alcohol. When you ferment sugars, you create alcohol. 41, which is the following section of the digestive tract of a rabbit is responsible for the pellet formation? And of course, the answer is C, the cecum. All right? So that's C. 42, and you have the diagram right here. Which part labeled 1, 2, 3, or 4 is the proventriculus? And the answer is C, number 3. So that's the crop, proventriculus, gizzard. 43. In a non ruminant animal, gastric juices is produced in the, the best answer is C, stomach. Number 44. The main mineral found in a bird's egg shell is calcium. 45. Refers to the following diagram. Which of the following parts of the egg are rich in protein? And of course, the best answer here is A, 1, that's the egg white, and 3, which pointing at the egg yolk. All right, the, the egg white and the egg yolk, and they are rich in protein. 46, rations designed primarily for energy would most likely contain, the best answer is C, molasses, rice, brown, wheat, melon. All right, so this is simply saying, these are, these create sugar. And they are filled with carbs, and so carbs is the main source of energy in animal rations. 
47, which of the following stage of growth is broiler bird would require the highest percentage of protein? And so the best answer is one to three weeks because that's when the bird is developing. And protein is used to build muscle mass to help develop the organs and tissues properly. 48, food supplied in excess of maintenance needs of the animal is referred to, referred to as, and so the best answer is D, production ration. So you have a maintenance ration, and if you add extra stuff, it becomes a production ration. 49, the concrete floors in pig pens are gently sloping to B, facilitate easy cleaning. 50, which of the following give a farm precise information on the effectiveness of feed to the broilers? And the best answer is D, feed conversion ratio. It all tells you how much weight the animal is gaining but based on how much food you would have fed it and so you know what to do, whether to up it or down it, whichever one. 51, which of the following types of roof is most suitable for poultry pens? And the best answer is the gamble roof. The gamble roof, so that's B. 52, during the actual process of artificial in insemination, which of the following is not used? And the best answer is A, the bull. The glove is used, perm is used, syringe is used, so the bull is the best answer. Number 53, artificial insemination or AI has become increasingly popular in the Caribbean in recent years because, and the best answer here is A, regional governments have been expanding the service, okay? 54 refers to this diagram right here of the um, genes, genetics. Okay, so we have T represents black coat color, T represents small, T represents red coat color. What is the ratio of black to red offsprings from the above cross? And so the best answer here is B, three to one. So you're gonna get three that contains black coats and just one with two small T's based on the, the, the printed square. All right, so once you do the action in the square, you'll see that it's three to one. 55, the beacon is done in layers mainly to A only, reduce occurrence of cannibalism. 56, which of the following is a sign of heat in rabbits? Okay, the truth is rabbits, rabbits don't normally show signs of heat, but the best one here would be B, the swelling of the vulva. 57, droopiness, blood in feces, and swollen vent in poultry are common um, symptoms of, and the best answer is C, cacaidosis. All right, the disease cacaidosis. All right, 58, which of the following substance is used by honeybees to cement the combs, the, the cement the comb, to the frame during honey production? And the best answer here is the propolis. B, the propolis. All right, moving on. 59, which of the following types of bees has the big, broad body with large compound eyes and no stings? And so the best answer is B, the drone. Number 60, last, which of the following types of feed is given only to layer birds? And so the best answer here is the grower. All right, the grower is given to the layer birds until they finish their productive life cycle. All right, so that's the end of this CSEC Agricultural Science Single Award exam paper one from 2017. So you know what to do now. You like, you subscribe, and of course, share, 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 and hit that bell so you know when the next video drops as your exams are rapidly approaching. All right, thanks for watching.